Hey friends, we're learning C Sharp. We did Hello World. We did it at the command line and we did it inside of Visual Studio Code. If you haven't set up your Visual Studio Code, go and check our other videos on how to set up C Sharp, install.net, and the C Sharp Developers Kit. But I want to show you some resources that we're going to be using to learn C Sharp today on our journey. We're going to go into our browser here and we're going to type in dot.net. That's an awesome you like domain that? name. I love it. Tiny dot, domain dot net. Can't you can also it. go and search for Learn C Sharp yep. or whatever. But I just want to show you how to get to one of these websites. Uh, we're at the main website here to learn about C Sharp and .NET. Okay. Now, we scroll down. You can learn about the foundational C Sharp certification and things like that. Now, of course, this web website may have changed if you're visiting us in the future. So you're going to want to explore, but we're looking for the learning portal. And the learning portal is going to send us over here to .NET slash learn. We can learn in the browser tutorial, in consoles. We can do all the different things we want to learn. There's a lot of material beyond just this video yep. that folks can learn. At the very top, though, you've got this menu. And in Docs, we can learn about all the different the languages. Things. Yeah. C Sharp, F Sharp, VB. Learn F Sharp, Basic. learn Visual Basic. We're going to click on C Sharp right here. And now we are at learn.microsoft.com. This is basically the home page for C Sharp documentation. Everything. Exactly. C Sharp language, the spec, tutorials. The spec, that's an interesting point that you make. The specification that describes uh, how to type C Sharp, what words are allowed, what yep. words are not allowed. We're going to talk about that. Awesome. Okay, on the left hand side over here under Get Started, I want to point out these tutorials. And there's something that we want to see here that says browser based Ooh. or work in your local environment. Now, in our second video, David and I did a hello world at the command line in Visual Studio Code. But if you don't want to install anything and you want to get a taste, you can do it in the browser. So I'm going to click on browser based tutorials and we'll look at hello world. Ooh, very nice. Right? So we're looking at hello world again except we haven't installed anything and we're just in our favorite browser. So when I say begin, look at this. On the left-hand side here, we've got our hello world. I'm going to hit copy, put that in the clipboard. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to hit run. So I can run C Sharp in the browser. So how is that working, David? That's pretty amazing. There's a, there's a technology called WebAssembly that we use to compile your C Sharp code and run it in the browser itself. Now, we said before that C Sharp runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux, uh, and we are compiling for Mac or for Windows. In this case, we compiled for... For browser, right? For browser. For WASM. Yeah. WebAssembly. WebAssembly. So this is really cool. This is a way for you to play and, and learn, and you can go and run through quite a bit of .NET. You can learn about strings. We are not going to spend a whole bunch of time in here, but I want to show you that so that you can get a feeling of how you want to do it. But then if you go back, we're just going to back a couple of times, go back to tutorials here, and we're going to point out that you can work up to strings and branches and loops, or you can set up your environment, right? Isn't that cool? That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Hello World here, say work with strings, and these, this code here, like here we've got work with strings, you know, my friends are friend name and friend name. Can I copy this and not put it over on the right, but instead maybe put it over in... Your local environment? My local environment, Whoa. which we've seen before. So here we said, hello, David. Let's just paste that code in. My friends are Maria and Sage. And then we'll go and we'll run that again. Now, I can hit Save, Control-S. Or I can say File, Save. And then I can hit Control-F5, which is our running... Uh, application way. Inner loop, right? Our inner loop here. Right. Here we've said, hello, David. My friends are Maria and Sage. Sage. Awesome. You can change that. Right. Change Scott Sage to Scott. I can also come down here to this terminal and just type .NET run like we saw before. Very nice. Now, the reason that we're showing you these different ways is we want you to feel like you are, you have flexibility. You have choice, right? And you have choice. Yep. So you can learn in the browser in our interactive tutorials. You can learn in Visual Studio, and these things will both work together. So what I'm going to do for the rest of this, uh, this day is I'm going to take my Visual Studio Code window here, and I'm going to push it off to the side. And I'm going to have my documentation on the left, and I'm going to have my code on the right. And this is a really nice way for you who are watching this video to follow along. Sound like a plan? Yeah. 
Sounds good. Sounds All good. right, let's learn some C sharp.